What is up? I'm doing a quick review of Mark Ronson's new album, Uptown Special. Now, for those of you who don't know, Mark Ronson's a pretty well-known producer. He's worked with Adele, he's worked with Amy Winehouse, he's worked with Paul McCartney, as well as a handful of other artists. And this time, he's coming to the forefront, and he's working with a producer, um, Jeff Basker, who's actually worked with Kanye West, as well as Alicia Keys. Jeff Basker also wrote some of the, co-wrote some of the songs on this album. And I just want to start by saying that this album is heavily influenced by 70s and 80s funk music, you know, R&B, and it pays homage to a lot of those kinds of artists, as well as throwing some curveballs in there uh, with influences from, you know, James Brown, Steely Dan, Prince, uh, Stevie Wonder. In fact, Stevie Wonder actually uh, guest stars on the opening track of this album, which is a fantastic track where he plays harmonica. Uh, the hit radio single, uh, Uptown Funk, is... Uh, uh, which stars Bruno Mars is the lead singer for the song and it's got a very heavy 70s funk style influence on it it's got so much swagger it's got attitude and it's a great song it's it's on rotation on my iPod right now it should be on yours too um, there's even some Steely Dan influences too on the song Summer Breaking which is another great song off the album uh, there's also some James Brown inspirations as well the song Fe Feels Right or Feel Right um, has a heavy James Brown influence and um, I Can't Lose also borrows elements from the Pointer Sisters. Although I felt like the James Brown influence track Feel Right, I felt the instrumentals were great. I just felt the rapping over it just didn't seem to fit very well, especially the lyrics. I mean, talking about slapping kittens, it just didn't work too well for me. And I felt overall that the album, while some of the songs were really good, it's just not going to appeal to a lot of people. And it just doesn't seem it's very cohesive it sort of seems like these songs were just scattered and done at different times and not necessarily intended for the same kind of album um there's also some more modern influences such as the song leaving lost Feld sounds like something from the 90s you may hear from cheryl crow i think overall this this album definitely plays homage to uh, mark ronson's own record collection from the 70s and 80s and i think if you like steely dan you know james brown prince even boss skaggs um, you're probably going to love this album as it's full of funky riffs, you know, loud horns, you know, a lot of heavy synths. Uh, I think this album is definitely for you. If, if you're not, then you're probably not going to like what you hear on this album. I give this album a three and a half out of five. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Take care.